this battle takes place after I spend a morning working on the mod pack, so I figured I'd better jump on here, play a few games, make sure nothing's broken, and even though I didn't really want to play World of Tanks at the time, it was the right thing to do. And you're going to see my impatience catch up to me here, but this thing is the VK4502B, it's the tier 9 that comes before the mouse, but in 9.17.1, the next update they're going to release, it's no longer going to come before the mouse. It and the VK4502A are going to be before a version of the 7201, which is a Clan Wars reward tank. It's going to be a little bit different than that, but it looks essentially the same. Um, and before the mouse, they're going to have a tier 9, the mouse gen, a prototype mouse, and at tier 8 they're going to have, I believe they call it the VK100.01. But this thing that we're in right now has 200 millimeters of hull armor on the front, upper plate, and lower plate, and they're both angled the same, so that lower plate is basically indestructible. They're going to have 300 millimeters of effective armor if you're pointed directly at the enemy. That's ridiculous. Even the lower plate has 300 millimeters of armor. Uh, but it does have a gun port and a viewport at the front, which are a weak point, and the turret front is only 250 millimeters. Plus, it has a weak spot on the top of the turret, as you can see there. I say the turret's only 250 millimeters, but it is flat, so it is the weakest part of the vehicle from the front if you can't snipe those weak spots. Uh, but this thing, in the next update, it's going to have a nerf lower plate, it's going to have more side armor, it's not going to have the weak spots on the upper plate anymore. So just remember that when you're fighting it in the future, in the next update, 9.17.1, which is probably going to be here in a few weeks. Uh, but also, this means I need to finish grinding this thing so I can get to the mouse before the next update is released, because I'm probably going to lose all my progress towards it, or it's going to be transferred to the BK-7201 variant. I what they call it, the Panzer Kaufwagen 7, or... Pff, I don't know. Uh, anyways, like I said, I'm impatient right now. I don't really feel like playing, so YOLO, there's only one artillery. We're on Prohorovka. I hate this map. And I've got armor, so I'm just going to drive straight forward, see if I can do some spotting. Oh, completely missed blind shots, and just watch it as the shells start to ping off of my face. Uh, I just kind of pray that nobody actually shoots at my turret, because that is the weakest part, as I mentioned. And hopefully no one is able to shoot at my weak spots, but because I'm wiggling around like that, I'm going to hopefully make that a little bit more difficult. But hopefully we can avoid artillery for as long as possible. I'm worried about him tearing me apart. Uh, this T-54 lightweight. Get my turret facing back straight quickly so that no one shoots me in the side of the turret. That's just an invitation for pain. And there goes my loader from artillery. The first artillery strike has happened. We're going to fix up that loader. And this poor T-29, he's been firing APCR at me the whole time and having absolutely no effect. No one except artillery has hit me yet, and that's 16 hits received. 17. <laughs> Getting all kinds of spotting damage. We've already blocked a crazy amount of damage, as you can see in the bottom left corner there. And it's it's not over yet. It's really not over. I'm sitting still here, worried about artillery the whole time, but I wanted to shoot out the M103. That M103, however, being another tier nine, he, uh, he's actually going to be one that manages to hurt us right there. He's the only other guy that's managed to hurt us right now, other than artillery, which hits us a second time. Now we're a little low on health right now. Hopefully this M103 can be finished off, because he's probably going to reload before me. Yep, good, perfect. Thank you, allies. At least they're shooting at stuff. That makes me feel a little bit better about myself. <laughs> about the decision I've made. But that's almost 8,000 damage blocked by armor so far, and over 3,000 spotting damage. I'm afraid about those TDs back there. I know there's a TD or two hiding back there somewhere, and I'm afraid to turn my turret to face this T29. Just wondering if that TD is sitting there waiting for me to make a mistake. Because he probably doesn't want to get fired. He probably doesn't want to fire his gun because he'll get spotted. So that T29 gets torn apart, shot from me, and a few shots from my allies. And now I'm also hesitant to drive up here any farther because I've got those tanks, those enemy tanks over there on my right side. And if they happen to see me, look over this direction, and fire one shot in my direction, I, I might be dead. I don't have enough health points to survive. Ooh, and somebody put a shot through my upper frontal plate. Is that just how artillery shells are showing? Or was that actually the M103? <laughs> I don't know. M103 doing that 300 millimeters penetration without premium rounds? Maybe you got a high roll. I don't know. I'm watching the Super Pershing now. I'm dangerously turning my side towards everything else. I'm thinking about that. But the Super Pershing, he, he's not going to make it there. I don't think I'm spotted at the moment. That's the only reason they can come up with for not being dead. I, I must be unspotted. Which makes me wonder, what are these TDs doing back here? Are, are, is the TD still there? Is the ISU-152 there? Where did the Waffenträger off Panzerfeuer go? 
we will soon find out. One of my allies is starting to catch up. Maybe he'll have a better spotting range than me. Oh, and there's the 152. He's peeking up. Let's see if we can put a shot into him. My shot goes into the ground, and he finishes me off with an armor-piercing round. Like I said, the turret is the weakest spot on this, so when you're stuck in haul-down situations, it's really not good. You're, you're kind of forfeiting your best armor. And there's artillery. My teammates have avenged me. That artillery took most of my health points in that game. So that kind of sucks. But that's about that for this game. I just wanted to show you guys what this thing can do with its armor. And this is probably going to become the old version of this thing that I, I find to be super awesome. I'm not sure if I'm going to be willing to keep it after the changes are made. I'm going to have to side scrape more with it because it's got more, more side armor in the next update. But after that, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But wow, that game, we just blocked 8,210 damage with our armor. And we did 4,175 assistance damage. That's uh, pretty significant. I mean, 4,000 assistance damage with a heavy tank? Sure. And 8,000 damage blocked by armor? Sure, we did do a whole lot of damage, but because of all of our spotting, we finished for, uh, on second for experience. I'll take it. Fall.